Well, Asafa and Sachs, I mean, at that introduction, they laugh good-naturedly. Oh, they're so confident now from all their busking in Puerto Rico, kind of taking over the scene over there, yeah. So, 20-strong uh, crowd of uh, <laughs> these kind of hippies here. Uh, and so Tennyson, he nods meaningfully toward the suitcase, and that's the cue for uh, saxophone. Yeah, she gets down, and she unzips it, and when she unzips it, yeah, her cut-off blue jeans right up on her, uh, mm -hmm. and her ass cheeks, the mm -hmm, the bottom line of those, huh? Mm -hmm. Fine white hairs on them, uh, perspiring. Mm -hmm. Everybody's impressed. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Sea Urchin takes the cue. Uh, 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 oh, a uh, uh, bang, uh, uh, beggar's banquet. Uh, so uh, she's like, she, she, she accepts this, this kind of organizational challenge. you uh, throwing this uh, impromptu uh, a barbecue together. Uh, so she, uh, she now says, uh, "Okay, you know, can you get the barbecue? That brick barbecue, you know, get those uh, charcoals going on." Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. gives him a purpose in life. Uh, and she takes off. Uh, uh, well, Neptune, out of here. Uh, farmer's market, Sunday farmer's market. We need uh, all fresh vegetables, everything, every kind. Huge fresh garden salad. You know what to do, huh? You're Neptune? You got a spear? Uh, a trident? Well, and amidst this colorful and, you know, good rated camaraderie, um, Soft oak flesh is warm, but love, huh? Her emerald green eyes. Caribbean dazed, eyes missed up, and she grasps my formerly complicated life is becoming deeply peaceful. Pure. Which vibration doesn't go unnoticed by Tennyson. Should I just let it bite my nose? It's just trying to get through the day. Huh? Um, he gives a softless arm a squeeze and whispers, uh, Sister, you're home free. Funny, serendipitous afternoon. Yeah, karmically ideal, though. Tennyson turns everybody on? Where's he getting all this stuff? Uh, to his new trip, LSD. But only just a tingle, just a microdose. Doesn't want to spoil their appetites because the barbecue, like, that's the main uh, blowout uh, trip now. On, uh, well, this crystal LSD, a courtesy of Sphinx. We keep hearing about that guy, huh? His new Egyptian friend with the acid laboratory in the Frisco. Oh, my fisherman's wharf. Shh. Buried in a container truck under the ground. Um. Oslo. Uh. Yeah, he's got the new Puerto Rican connection. King Coconut. I mean, he's been, you know, hanging with King Coconut for years. And now, Sphinx coming in. He's just loading up King Coconut, huh? For the, just dose the whole island. Well, the doc, uh, he rummages around in his pirate's chest, a uh, slave cabin, and uh, he brings out a pound of Dominica's best Rastafarian uh, sense of me, uh, okay? Uh, doc, he's getting into the theatrics of everything. So he's a, he's a thin old guy, huh? But he manages to hold it above his head. A whole pound? And what does he do with it? He dumps it on himself. And he get all that sticky buds and his old white hairs on his chest. And it's everybody loses it, okay? And they're like diving down for buds at his feet. It's like a pirate declaring uh, the biggest rum break they ever had. Yeah, just drink the whole casket, okay? Oh, cheers. Oh, yeah. Everybody's just like you. Connoisseur buds, down his tan, bare chest. And he excites his, uh, his hippie children. Look, uh, come on, mates. 
don't forget to blow your mind. Mine's already so long. Uh, waste yourself on more reefer. Just, just get it. And encouraged by the just irrepressible, incorrigible, in tin shack aidable um, to let it all hang out. The hippies, uh, well, they just shed the clothes. Uh, why not? It's heating up. It's Muhammadu in the Caribbean. By 10, you got to like strip off or sweat out and soak up your clothes. Well, Saxon, she whispers to Safa. Uh, this old man, incredible. Well, she peels off her T-shirt to liberate her uh, taunt teenage mm -hmm. buds. You will notice Safa loves 17-year-olds. Well, then there's little Johnny, okay? He's 13 year old one away from Key West. Yeah, I got tired of the sunsets in Key West. He did the big step over to Rico, and now they're here. Uh, so he wanders in back into Maine. He's got to crack up some Jimmy Hendrix, okay? We need ambience. We need a guitar on fire. And, uh, low. Uh oh. A wrathful dragon is lurking. I noticed. Awfully disturbed. Serpent by uh, Tennyson's transcendent gift of Rico's primest beefsteaks ever. And they're stolen at gunpoint. Makes him extra. Spicy? Well, low. Uh oh, beware! The dragon, the cold-blooded serpent. It's a buzz-killing dragon. It wants to kick some hippie butt. Yeah, belching out smoke, flames. All over the astral plane. Where's your manners, okay? And tell it like it is. This uh, plague dragon has been made insane by the warm hearted Emperor Vender Viking and by his powerful free love warrior bodyguards. Naked, yeah. Stunned, yeah. And being Sunday. The day of rest, after a hard week of ruining people's lives, a high court judge lock him down. He is freaking out across the street. What? More than usual, because the blasting Hendrix music, the incessant cheering, those goddamn good vibrations, he can't stop it. Oh, lock him down, huh? He's gone for the... He's going in for the... On the heavy heaven right now, okay? He is so had enough of their... Hippie shit. <laughs>